Hello guys, my name is Gavin, and this will just be a quick tutorial on how to create an interactive main menu um, with Python and the Blender Game Engine, so I'm just getting started. To start off, let's right click on this camera, hit X delete, right click on this light, hit X delete, and then right click on this and hit X delete. Next, I'm going to hit 7 to go on the top view, hit shift and C to bring the crosshair back to the middle, and add a camera by hitting spacebar and then add a camera, like that. I'm going to drag this camera up. Drag it up just a little bit, hit 0 to go into camera view, and do spacebar and then add a text object. Add a text. And I'm just going to hit the tab key to go into edit mode. I'll just write starts like that, and hit the tab key to go back into object mode. Then hit alt and C and convert it to a mesh. Alright, and if we hit P to play, we can see in the bottom corner it's just going to say start. Alright, let's go from defaults to game logic and go from Blender Render to Blender Game. I'm going to hit 0 to go back in the camera view. And let's add a sensor right here. Add a sensor always. Click these first three dots. And add a mouse sensor. Mouse. This will be mouse over. I'll just rename it to mouse over. Like that. And I'll add one more sensor, a mouse sensor. I'll name this as click. Keep it at left button. And let's put tap. Next, let's add a Python controller right here and connect these, like so. I'm then going to add a game actuator. So add an actuator, game. And I'll just rename this to start game. Now I won't add a file in there just yet. Let's then do templates Python, then game logic simple. Drag this out and delete the portion that I've highlighted. Hit control and scroll up on your mouse to make your text larger. And I'm just going to rename this as main menu.py. That's the new name of our script. And I'll add that right here. All right. Now what we're going to do is define our sensors. So let's do mouse over is going to equal content sensors. Mouse over. And click is going to equal content sensors. Click. I'll then define that game actuator. Start game is going to equal content actuators. Start game. Next, I'm actually going to right click on our start button in the middle of the screen, go to the physics tab, go down to where it says collision bounds, change it from box to convex hull. And this will make it so that if you hover over any part of it, it'll, um, it'll react. Now, what we're going to do is have if mouse over dot positive own dot color is going to equal one comma. 0, 0, 0, true. Then else own.color is going to equal 0 0.8, comma, 0 0.8, comma, 0 0.8, comma, true. I'm then going to make the mouse visible at the top of the script by doing bg.render.show mouse and then 1. If we hit P now, we can see if we hover over the start button, it'll turn red. All right, what we're going to do now is actually have if click dot positive. What we're going to do is have const dot activate start game. Now we don't have anything inside of here yet, so it's not going to work properly. So what we're going to do is I'm going to save this main menu to I've made a folder, so I just called it main menu blender. I'm just going to rename this as main menu like that and save these all to one folder that you make. Save it. I'm then going to do file and a new and do file and then save. Save. And I'll just name this as um, game one or something like that. I'll save the Blender file. And I'll open a recent documents, the main menu, where it's a start game from file. I'm going to click this and put in game one. So now what's going to happen is if, if I hit P to play, hover over. And click it's going to start the game file that we just created all right guys that's how you create a simple main menu in blender